Hello everyone, Chuck Roberts here for another video review. This time we have the M&S Marks and Spencer, uh, the whippy one. Um, M&S, for those of you who don't know, is a, is a sort of upmarket shop, I guess, or store. They sell all sorts, but uh, they do have a sort of a supermarket um, subsidiary as well. And this is where this is from. Um, now there is uh, something in the UK called uh, a walnut whip. And M&S do their own sort of version of that. And it's basically a sort of dome of... Um, of, sort of marshmallowy fluffy bits with a walnut on top covered in chocolate and I think this is basically their uh, bar of it so let's have a look it's um, fluffy like mallow encased in creamy milk chocolate with caramelised walnut pieces yeah so I think that's what it is really their bar version of that they have this sort of weird steampunk style artwork on, um, <laughs> on their on their chocolates for some reason I don't quite uh, I don't know what that's about but, um, but there you go there you are so quite a nice little you know it's called, the, it's called the the whippy one and it does look a bit cloud-like and does have clouds on the side. Um, I, do, I do quite like steampunk, but I don't know, it's, it seems a bit strange to have it on these bars that uh, M&S do. Um, so yes, uh, 175 calories a bar. Um, and it's not actually tell you per bar what the fat content is. Um, gives you per 100 grams, uh, which is 24.9 grams. 13.4 which is saturates uh, this is about a third of that um, it's just in 24 so it's roughly eight grams of fat uh, 12 yeah about four and a half about four and a half grams of which is saturates something like that so there we go so um, yes so quite a it's got some flourishes on here so it's about, about just under 14 centimeters of course but you can see it dramatically shortened so okay let's give it a go Let's see. So you can see it's uh, dramatically shorter. Uh, the rough guide. We've got 14, did we say before? Now it's nine and a half centimetres, so it's massively smaller. Um, looks a bit like a toffee crisp on the outside, I think you'd say. Those sort of lumpy bits, presumably they're walnut pieces. That's what it says on the uh, on the blurb. So let's uh, give it a bit of a slice. Okay. So quite uh, you can see the um, the, uh, the chocolate's cracked all down there, so quite a cracky, you know, um, just snappy chocolate sweet there, so it looks quite nice. You can see the walnut there, and the, uh, the marshmallow or mallow in the middle. I think when I was growing up it was always marshmallow, but now nowadays they seem to say mallow, so there you go. Um, I think the walnut, caramelized walnut pieces are probably in the chocolate as well, so look. Yeah, so I don't know if you can kind of see, just um, just here. See like a sort of walnut piece there, so I think it's in the chocolate. Right, so let's uh, give it a go. I'm expecting walnut whip like tendencies, and I think that's what we're going to get. You can see actually the chocolate, so uh, yeah, it's very um, just before I do, you can see how soft it is, you know, the chocolate's coming off there. Yeah, so there you go. Hmm, sorry. Hmm. Well. I think it's a nice soft um, marshmallow scent, it's really nice. Um, I would say the caramelised, um, rather than it meaning sort of tasting like caramel, mm -hmm. I'd say it means it tastes a bit burnt. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't think it's quite as nice. I mean, I think, it's better to, to cut a long story short, walnut whips are nicer than this. Um, I'm not a massive walnut fan. And of course with walnut whips, the walnuts on the top, so you get that dome, the walnuts on the top, and the marshmallow in the middle, covered in like a chocolate casing. So you can take or leave the mar the, uh, the walnuts if you want. Um, and they're really nice. But this one, you just get a um, very strong taste of sort of burnt walnut, really. And uh, that, that, to me, isn't a very pleasant taste. It kind of overshadows everything. As soon as you bite it, because it's in the chocolate, that's what you taste. So you don't really get the nice... You get the, the, the chocolate's nice and snappy and crunchy, and it's a nice chocolate, but... But you don't really get the taste, you just get the taste of that sort of burnt walnuts and um, you know that's not really for me that. Um, let's give another bit of rice just to check. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You do get the consistency of the marshmallow in there and so you do get the chocolate but the main taste you get is that it's kind of burnt walnut and then um, mm. It's not for me that really. It's a shame. 
Um, could have been a nice ball, looks quite nice as you say. You see how it's come out quite clean, but um, yeah, for me, one that whips any any day of the week. Um, I'm not a massive, yeah, I think this is probably two out of five for me. I think a bit disappointing with that. Um, oh well, it's a, it's a unique bar, it's not really like anything else. I don't think there's any other equipment bar on the, on the, on the market like this. Um, so I would definitely check it out. Um, if you like walnuts and uh, walnut whips, um, specifically, but for me, you know, as I say, it's just the fact that you've got this sort of burnt walnut taste, which um, I think doesn't work for me. But if that might be something you'd like, um, if you're, you know, caramelized walnut fan or whatever, <laughs> then uh, this might be for you. But um, for me, yeah, a two out of five, I think. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed that review. Um, follow me on Twitter, subscribe, this, that, and your bed. Um, let me know what you think, and I'll uh, see you next time. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now. See ya.